what? This is what y'all gonna be doing? How are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, you already know what the deal is. Thumbs up, man. Like button, right there, right there, right there. Thumbs up. All right. Nintendo's global president, Shanturu Furukawa, recent investor meeting, he revealed the company's plans for a next generation hardware and some very interesting stuff. Bro, this is what he says. The Nintendo Switch will soon have been on sale for three years. We feel it is a different kind of console than the ones we have previously released. Of course, it's a hybrid. Where's my Switch? I, I, it's not in my game room. It's a handheld and home console in one both of the both of the best worlds all wrapped into one package but he continues in addition to the flagship switch model we also released the nintendo switch Lite, which can only be played as a handheld this allows the user to choose a console to fit their lifestyle and then he begins to spill some beans we are also looking into the current market and feel there are many different ways to think about the future uh, about future console development he just said we're looking at what's currently going on and he's saying that there are many different ways to think about future console development typically nintendo re releases a new console five years later next generation completely new hardware bro Every generation Nintendo console, the format has been different. From the NES to the Super Nintendo, completely different cartridges, can't fit, not compatible. From the um, Super Nintendo to the Nintendo 64, completely different cartridges, not compatible. From the Nintendo 64 to the GameCube, biggest difference went from cartridges to those miniature CDs on the GameCube, completely different. From the GameCube to the Wii, the GameCube to the Wii was the most harmony nintendo's had with their consoles to where um the little gamecube disc could fit right into the wii and it's almost like the same system in one and they follow the same trend with the wii and the wii u and then from the wii u to the switch they switched it up cartridges completely different format not compatible we still get the wii u games <laughs> remastered for 60 dollars <laughs> buy them again boy um but what's interesting is when he said we're looking at the current market and how and the different ways of future console development. We have the Switch, we have an Xbox, we have a PlayStation. I'm pointing at my cons consoles and you can't see them. But bro, we had an Xbox OG, then we had an Xbox One S, we had an Xbox One, Xbox One S. Xbox One X, Xbox Sad Edition. We had like four or five reiterations of the same console and the specs were different with each reiteration. Usually, there's like, like last generation, they had the Xbox 360, Xbox 360 Slim, um, PlayStation, PlayStation, PlayStation 3 had a whole bunch of different models too. But, they were all same specs, ran the games exactly the same. This generation, even with the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro, you had incremental upgrades. He's foreshadowing. Don't expect in five years, we're just going to boom. Here is the Nintendo Super whatever. 
and it's not going to be a switch. They are going to reiterate on the switch model. And he continues. I'm going to continue with what he says. He says, on the other hand, software is also very important. So in the short term, while the Nintendo Switch install base continues to expand, we must place a lot of focus on that software. By placing our main focus on the Nintendo Switch, we feel we can have a very different, in parentheses, longer hardware life cycle than previous Nintendo consoles. Previously, after five years, Nintendo refreshes completely different generation. He pretty much said, we're going to have a long, oh, he, he said a very different hardware life cycle with the Nintendo Switch. And so things are going to be very different with the Switch as opposed to what they've done with previous generations. Nintendo, he pretty much just said, we're going to be reiterating on the Switch model. <laughs> Don't expect to, this is, this is what he said. Don't expect the Switch to go away any time soon. There's probably going to be, now that there's no Switch Pro, are we going to have to wait maybe another two years? Because we're three years in. Nintendo, at, at the five-year point is when Nintendo gives us new hardware. So, he possibly could be saying, in two years, that's when we could get a Switch Pro. That's what he could be saying. Um, but he pretty much revealed that um, the Switch is going to have a very different and longer hardware life cycle than previous Nintendo consoles. And it makes sense. Why let go of a good thing? Keep the Switch. They already said they're coming out with a family of systems. Switch Pro. Nintendo Switch 2, um, but it's still is within the same Switch family and have the game still compatible. Your account can just seamlessly transfer over. Um, I think this is what the direction Nintendo is doing because if they keep the current Switch hardware for the next two years, I know dudes are already like, oh, Nintendo is going to get left behind. There is no way Obi Wan. Nintendo's gonna be able to keep up with the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. Bro, Sony and Microsoft pretty much came out and said the games that are coming out on their next gen systems, <laughs> they're not leaving behind the PlayStation 4 install base. They're not leaving behind the Xbox One install base. If games are gonna be scaled still back to last generation, they might, more than likely, it's gonna be for the next two years. That means the Switch could still get third-party ports if they're still going to be making games for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One for the next two years. And then, when they start leaving those consoles behind, Nintendo comes out with a Switch Pro. That's probably what's going to happen. All right, dudes. Um, oh, another news item that I found very, very interesting. Why do I have all these Fire Emblem characters, you ask? Sakurai has come out and admitted that there are too many Fire Emblem characters in Smash. And not just that. This is what he said. This is his exact quote. I understand as well. There are too many Fire Emblem characters. And there are also too many sword users. Masahiro Sakurai has come out and said that he understands the rage from Nintendo fans. That's all we needed, Sakurai, for you to understand. <laughs> there are too many Fire Emblem characters. When Byleth was announced, that was arguably the most controversial um, release um, of all the Smash DLC fighters. The internet was raging and I was a part of the rage because there's there's too many Fire Emblem characters already and I'm, it's good to see um, Sakurai admitting it. <laughs> he admitted it. And Nintendo, Nintendo Smash Brother fans, they're going to defend it. Sakurai is wrong. There's not too many Fire Emblem fighters. When the man himself said it, that there's too many. He said there's too many Fire Emblem fighters and sword users. 
And that was my, exactly when Bot was revealed. That's what I said. There's too many fight emblem fighters. There's too many sword users. <laughs> what are you doing, Sakurai? <laughs> All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. You're still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. We're having monthly giveaways. $60 eShop codes for your Nintendo Switch. You can choose any game of your choice. How do you enter? One, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to this fire. Two, make sure you're following me on Twitter at Obi1Plays. And that's it. You're in for our monthly giveaways. But that's not it. It gets even better. Do you want to game with your boy every day? Do you want to join our private Nintendo Switch Gaming Discord? Become a member. Three ways to join. One, through YouTube. There's a join button right below this video. It's two, through Twitch. Twitch Prime. You can do it for free or just subscribe through Twitch. And number three, the third way to join, patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. See you later. Peace.